Hello and welcome to series one of Robo War. Um, four robots first of all, featuring Colonel 9000 has a front flipper made out of cardboard. It's got a fa it's got a famous line about it if you know it, but if you don't, then never mind. Tough as nails, a Dutch robot has gripping well not gripping jaws, they're static, but there's jaws and the front rams at the front. Senna's Revenge, a green go-kart, which is nippy, but has a no Shremex, so could be a problem. And finally, Monad, the Irish boys with Monad, has a front scoop at the front and side spikes. But it looks really weird to me. Three, two, one, activate. Bit of a sideways walk there from Top of Housing is Senna's Revenge. Colonel Lenthausen wants the pit. Okay, we'll give him that. Senna's Revenge, sideways glance on. In goes Colonel 9000 flipping Senna's Revenge out. Well, greatest race, race driver in the world is now sitting outside the greatest arena in the world. In goes the beans packet of Colonel 9000 with that vicious flipper top of now on its back. Oh no! Doesn't the matter though, they're through with Colonel 9000 who have spammed themselves onto their side. Top as nails on their back. They're through with Colonel 9000. Okay, time for the second and first round match. We've got Journey with a powerful flipper. Quite vulnerable at the back though. D-Day, powerful flipper again. Lo loads of robots in this series have flippers, so don't worry. Wing. This is very good. It's, gr it's a green F1 car. Maybe this is really su better suited for Senna's Revenge. But, oh well. And finally, Shove 2. Um, this is basically the second version of Shove High Tech from Robo War, but oh well. It, this is Shove 2, and it's made out of Lego this time, not a clock. 3, 2, 1. Activate. So, pushers against flippers in Bear's Journey. Pit release there, activated by Wing. Journey flipping Wing and itself. Wing. Up and over, journey nearly out of the arena, in the shove two with the shovel. Shove. Oh my word, off goes the flipper. Sorry, I nearly said oh my word now. I've become a, an old F1 commentator, but out goes journey. That was a shock, I was expecting them to reach, uh, reach the grand final at the end of the four heat this series. Ah, oh, and down the pit go, shove two, flip down by D-Day. And through go wing and D-Day. Okay, time for the first second round match involving D-Day, did well against Wing in the lurid green paintwork. Three, two, one. Activate, sorry for clicking my fingers there if you find it a bit disturbing. Well, D-Day is showing early aggression here, slamming the, gre the green bogey that is wing slamming it against the arena wall based on an F1 Jaguar metallic paint I wasn't expecting that though <laughs> it's, it's pushed itself into the pit wing well wing had won that one D-Day was down but they pushed they pushed themselves out and D-Day is through to the heat final now for the final place in the grand final well heat final sorry Colonel 9000 lots of sticky tape on that against tough as nails with the Dutch. Three, two, one, activate. I think Colonel 9000 is American, seeing as though it's made from KFC, which is Kentucky Fried Chicken, as I'm sure all eight, well, okay, sorry, that's a bit ageist, but I mean, all five from 18 year olds should know, but anyway, what's that there? A bit of debris from Tough as nails, I think. Look, one of the rams have come out. Wow! Getting tossed everywhere around the arena floor by the Colonel. The Americans against the Dutch. And Colonel 9000, I think one flip should do it out. Very easy and a bit of break dancing at the end from the Colonel to go through. And on to the heat file then. With D Day. With the flipper done well. As has Colonel 9000. But who will get through to the grand final? Let's find out. Three, 
two, one. Activate D-Day with the dust-ridden tyres. In goes Colonel and has this time flip more than anything. In goes Colonel and Thousand against D-Day. Oh, nearly in the pit there. Going towards the lights which provides energy for the arena so we can see everything. Oh, but the Colonel's gone. The Colonel has been dispossessed by his troop. And D-Day, even though it's got a wheel that's about to come off, I'm sure, they're through to the grand final.